for the Rams. A Lombardi Trophy for Los Angeles. 2021 was a year like no other for the Los Angeles Rams. On their home field, the Los Angeles Rams are world champions. Under the leadership of owner Stan Kroenke, general manager Les Snead, and head coach Sean McVay. Oh! Let's go! The Rams built a championship roster in the City of Angels. I expect the Rams offense to play be lights out. Throwing the ball all around the yard. I expect fireworks. I expect a lot of fire out of this defense. I expect a ball hawking secondary and a defensive line that just gets pressure on the quarterback time and time again. This team wasn't just built to compete. They were built to win. They were built for this moment. Week one welcomed fans into SoFi Stadium for the first time. The Rams' house was rocking as Matthew Stafford made his Hollywood debut. Sets his beat and launches. Back deep right. It's caught the 20. Van Jefferson. He gets up. He gets in. L.A.'s newest leading man showed he was ready for the spotlight as the Rams rolled to their first win of the season. Cooper Cup. Touchdown, L.A. First win of the Mickey Stadium with fans. Help that he felt. Give up. In what would become a historic season, Cooper Cup caught nine passes for 163 yards and two touchdowns in week two against the Colts. It's Cup again! Oh, great job! Late in the fourth quarter, all-pro cornerback Jalen Ramsey stomped out any hopes of a Colts comeback. The Rams start 2-0 for the fourth consecutive season. With the defending champion Buccaneers in town, the Rams showed they were the team to beat in the NFC. Kenny Young gets through to sack Brady. The Los Angeles offense stayed hot, putting up 34 points against one of the league's stingiest defenses. Stafford throws Cooper Cup. Oh, he had 10 yards of separation. The Rams are on their way to 3 and 0. I respect you so much. I just love playing against you, man. Yeah. It's an honor, man. This is us against everybody, baby. Let's have some fun, man. Put a smile on your face and love what you do, man. After suffering their first loss, the Rams rebounded in Seattle. Stafford put up a season-high 365 yards through the air. Cut by Tyler Higby. Touchdown, L.A. Great right drive. Great right drive. All day, baby. Ahead by six late in the fourth quarter, the Rams needed one more stop. It's picked up. And the Rams will go home with their fourth win of the season. A week later against the Giants, the Rams scored 28 straight points in the second quarter. Stafford play fits, throws off his back foot, crossing the field left side, it's Cooper Cup in the 10, to the 5, to the pylon, touchdown LA! Defense forced four turnovers, and L.A. improved to 5-1. It's a blowout. In Week 7, Los Angeles welcomed Stafford's former team to town, the Detroit Lions. How are you? How are you? Had a great, great chat to see with you. Kelly. Good. Yeah. I appreciate y'all very much. Led by former Ram Jared Goff, Detroit jumped out to a 13-3 lead. Screen left, caught by Swift. Up to midfield, breaks a tackle into L.A. territory. All alone, center of the field, 20. Touchdown, DeAndre Swift. Punch the ball left, let's go. Every time we touch it, we score now. Let's go, put your mind to it, let's go. Three Stafford touchdowns turned a 10-point deficit into a six-point lead. Wait, that? They throw, right side, Cooper cut the catch into the end zone. And Matthew Stafford joins the 300 club. Hey, three drives, two touchdowns, and a field goal. We're just getting you started. Great job. Coach is out on these guys. Let's go. Drop, throw, right. Cut by cup. He got it in. Right LA's all pro defensive duo sealed the win. Goff back to throw. Aaron Donald hits him. Pick it, pick it. It's picked. Intercepted at the goal line by Jalen Ramsey. The 
two megastars on defense wow. show up in crunch time. That'll do it. The Rams are going to get to six and one. Hey, good luck to you, man. Best good luck. Play, man. Thank All right. You, man. Thank you. It. Yes, sir. The 2021 Rams' march to the playoffs continued in Houston. The most unstoppable force in professional football is number 10 in Bone. It's intercepted at the 30. Ernest Jones with the interception. The Rams win their fourth in a row. Halloween night was the team's last victory for a month, as the Rams went winless in November. But they bolstered their roster for the stretch run with the additions of wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Showtime. And linebacker Vaughn Miller. Let's go! Looking to get back in the win column against the Jaguars, the Los Angeles defense made a statement on the opening drive. That ball is out. It's loose. It's scooped oh. up by Jalen Ramsey. Oh! Let's go! The offense got the message, scoring 37 points to notch their eighth win of the season. Touchdown, Cooper Cup, 29 yards. Daffer throws back the end zone, caught, touchdown, Dan Jefferson. Great job, man, awesome job, great decision. Love you, buddy. The Rams' losing streak is over. Follow this feeling up, we gotta be able to build on it. In week 14, Aaron Donald, who earlier in the season had become the Rams' career leader in sacks, added to his total with a season-high three against Arizona. Aaron Donald saying, it can't possibly be this easy. Donald's three sacks were matched by Matthew Stafford's three touchdown passes as the Rams started another winning streak. Stafford looking deep. He's got Van Jefferson. Touchdown, L.A. The Rams. Great job, man. Great job. Tuesday night football. Taco Tuesday. No matter what day the game was played, Cooper Cup couldn't be stopped in 2021. Cooper Cup sets a franchise record for most receptions in a season. Cup became just the fourth player since the merger to record the receiving triple crown. The Rams have put together a three-game winning streak to get to 10 and 4. To win a championship, a team needs contributions from the entire roster. Against the Vikings, newly acquired Brandon Powell took a punt 61 yards to the house, helping the Rams clinch a playoff berth. After the Rams do not win a game in November, they run the table in December. DeMarco, the last two seasons they did that, 2001, and 1999. Wow. What do you recall about those two years? I, I think they ended in the Super Bowl. They ended yeah. in the Super Bowl. In Baltimore, the Rams defense racked up a season high five sacks. The Rams rush arrives when they needed it most. Down five with four and a half left to play. Stafford and the offense went to work. The Rams 25, throw middle, caught by Higby. 15 yards the game, sets up to throw. Launches middle, Cooper Cup tackled at the 36. Stafford fires right, Skoranek the catch at the 17 yard line. First and goal with one minute to go. Feels like the whole season has been building to this moment right here. Rolls right, pitches, throws, caught front pylon. Touchdown. OBJ, touchdown LA. And they have a five game winning streak to get to 12 and four. The first playoff game in SoFi Stadium history featured the NFC West champion Rams squaring off against the division rival Cardinals in the NFL's first ever playoff game on Monday Night Football. Every workout, every early morning, every late night for this, man, one game at a time. You got it, bro. After missing most of the regular season with an injury, running back Cam Akers' miraculous comeback continued. It's different, this running game, with 23 back there. Here's the first down snap. Throw down the line left. OBJ wants to spin it. He throws back right. Cam Akers in space. Catch at the 25 to the 15. Akers dropped at the 11. Beckham proved he can spin it, but so can Stafford, who threw for two touchdowns. Stafford throwing left, the fade to OBJ, touchdown! Stafford's alone in the gun. Goop! Goop! Cooper Cup makes the catch for the touchdown! And the Rams are blowing it open! Let's go! Let's go! 
While the offense poured on the points, the defense put constant pressure on Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray. Takes the snap, bounces in the pocket, hit from behind, flips it forward. It is intercepted, intercepted, a pick six, David Long Jr. The Los Angeles Rams are off to Tampa Bay to challenge the defending Super Bowl champions in the divisional round. I think we ain't done yet. <laughs> I said, I think we ain't done yet. To be the man, you've got to beat the man. For the Rams to be world champs, they'd have to go through the defending champs on their home turf. Be relentless and let's dominate. The L.A. defense did just that, holding Tom Brady and the Bucks, the league's second-highest scoring team, to just three points through the game's first 44 minutes. He's a deep on the right side, intercepted at the 30. And we talked about it, and we just talked about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. While Tampa was being held out of the end zone, the Rams hit pay dirt three times, jumping out to a 27-3 lead. Kendall Blanton into the end zone. Kendall! Empty shotgun look, Stafford has it. Deep drop, big throw, down the right side. Cooper Cup's all alone. He caught it at the 30, to the 20, cuts inside. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. And the Rams on the road are all over. The defending Super Bowl champion. Tampa mounted a comeback tying the game at 27 with under a minute to go. Sean McVay stayed aggressive. Winning in regulation was his mission. Stafford deep down the right side. He's got cut. He reels it in at the 15. And the Rams are in position with four seconds remaining in Tampa Bay. Matt Gay will attempt a 30-yard field goal from the left half. Hits it with the right foot. It is good. Matt Gay brings it home. Los Angeles will host the NFC Championship game. A week later, the Rams returned to SoFi Stadium, facing their neighbors to the north, the San Francisco 49ers, with a ticket to Super Bowl 56 on the line. The LA offense landed the first blow. Staff to the end zone. Cooper Cup! Touchdown LA! We're tiring them out now. Body blow, body blow, body blow. And the knockout punch is gonna come. San Francisco punched back, scoring 17 straight points to take a 10-point lead late in the third quarter. Rams have some work to do in this fourth quarter if they want to play two weeks from tonight. Like they did all season, Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup brought the Rams back. He deals left side. Cooper Cup in the end zone. He's a cheat code. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. His second score of the game. After a Matt Gay field goal tied the game, L.A. got the ball back with a chance to retake the lead. Three and a half minutes to play in regulation. Stafford stands in and delivers. Cooper Cup makes the catch, breaking across the field, breaking a tackle at the 20, and he's down at the 11. Cooper Cup roars in celebration with 26 on third down and three. To give the Rams the lead, snap back, hold down. Kick is on the way, and it is right down the middle for a 20 to 17 lead with 146 remaining. This is the moment right here. Let's go. This is the moment. Third and 12. The clock is ticking at 126. Snap back to Garoppolo. Pocket crumbling. He spins out, he's hit, he's wrapped up, he flipped it forward, it's tipped, it's intercepted! Aaron Donald got pressure on Garoppolo, and Craven Howard clinches the NFC Championship game! What did we just witness? Los Angeles savored the moment. We're going to the Super Bowl. We out.
But they knew the ultimate prize was still in front of them. Got a little more work to do. The Rams are the NFC champions, and they're one win away from a world title. For the first time in three decades, the Super Bowl returns to Los Angeles. Welcome to SoFi Stadium for Super Bowl 56. Every single move that the Los Angeles Rams organization has made has pointed to this moment. One win away from a world championship. The Rams opened their season with a win at SoFi Stadium. 154 days later, they were ready to close it the same way. In doing so, they would secure the franchise's second Lombardi Trophy. Love you. Let's go, man. You deserve this. Yep. Let's earn it today. Yep. Eric Weddle, that story is unbelievable. His importance to this game is immeasurable. You don't know which rep it'll be. Make every rep like it's your last, bro, because we're going to need it. And when we play our best, they don't got a shot. Let's be great, huh? Let's go. Now it's ball time. All right, it's time now. Let's go. In a moment, let's go get some points right here. Come on, let's go take this lead. Let's go, come on. Cooper Cup, Odell Beckham Jr., and Matthew Stafford were all playing in their first Super Bowl. It didn't take long for the trio to make their presence felt. Matthew Stafford looking for Odell Beckham Jr. He high points the football and has the six. Hey, let's go get seven more. Come on. Put your mind to it. Let's go. Cooper cuts in the end zone. Stafford sees him. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. Yeah! Complete receiving season in NFL history now includes a Super Bowl touchdown. Literally, and I was born. The doctor was like, oh yeah, he's supposed to play in the Super Bowl. He's supposed to win it too. Right when I was born. As the third quarter began, the Rams lead quickly evaporated. Here's the first snap, a play fake. Let's it go. Into coverage, going up to make the catch. T. Higgins sheds Jalen Ramsey. Touchdown Cincinnati on the opening play of the third quarter. Hey, everybody saw that. Higgins definitely grabs Ramsey's face mask there as he whizzes by. So bad. Now we move on. It's bad. Everybody saw it. Trailing for the first time, Aaron Donald got momentum back on the Rams' side. Rams bring five. He's hit. Aaron Donald gobbles him up. AD 99 showing up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't let up. Don't let up. They scared. They scared. Donald led the way as Los Angeles racked up a Super Bowl record tying seven sacks. Yes! Now we're coming to life. Now we're coming to life, team. Burrow sets, flush, Vaughn Miller gets there. Burrow will have to eat it again. Now it's time for your offense to go down here and win this game. Let me just tell you something right now. What you're not going to regret is waking up right now, playing our best ball, be in the moment. One play at a time. Believe it, and you'll be world champs. All right, boys, let's go right here. Hey, one drive now. Let's go. Come on. Matthew Stafford, at age 34, in his 13th season, never had a playoff win until this campaign. Now can he go win the Super Bowl? Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, down by four. This moment was the reason Matthew Stafford was brought to Los Angeles. This is Matthew Stafford, who is now just going to take over the game and go, Cooper, just get ready. All right, Matthew, ready for this? This is going to be your game winner right here, buddy. 129 remaining. Rams trailing four. It's second and goal from inside the one. Back tackle from under center. Throws the fade. Back shoulder. Cooper Cup got it. Touchdown, LA. Yeah. 15 plays. 79 yards. Matthew Stafford's done it again. Cooper. What else could you want? What else could you want? Right now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Aaron, this is the moment. Right now. Ahead by three with under a minute to go, Aaron Donald was made for this moment. Now, 
he met it. It'll be fourth down and one. For the world championship right here. Aaron Donald's gonna make a play. The football gods only do this right. They're gonna give Aaron Donald a chance to end this game, to win a ring, to cement his legacy. Can he do it? Rams rush four. Burrow to throw for it. He's hit. He flings it away on fourth down. Yeah! Yeah! I knew it! I knew he was the play! Aaron Donald got there! And you can fill that man's statue out so far. Confetti flies here at SoFi Stadium. Whee! Look at this. We have to look at it. Take it in, man. Take it in. World champ, World champ. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is staying in Ram's house. This is the type of win that cements legacies in the city of champions. The Los Angeles Rams are world champions.